Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to 8.4.1. Um, so we're going to go directly from your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch, and then we're going to try it in iTunes if you guys don't see the update. Anyways, let's go into settings. From settings, we're going to go into general. Under general, just go to your second option where it says software update, and you guys are going to, are going to see 8.4.1. At this point, you guys will just have to click on install now. Make sure to have at least 50% of your battery or have your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch charging. I always suggest actually charging it while you are updating just in case. You don't want it to die in the middle of the installation. Before doing this, obviously make an iCloud backup of your phone just in case something goes wrong um, or make the backup on iTunes. Now this is a small update so I don't see it necessary to make a, a backup on iCloud and iTunes. Um, I usually recommend that before going to a big change. For example, if you're gonna go into iOS 9, I would recommend, highly recommend doing a backup both in iCloud and on iTunes. iTunes. Now we're gonna go into iTunes and then we're gonna get back to doing it right directly from your phone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Okay. So if you connect your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to your computer, you're gonna download a program that's called iTunes. iTunes. Uh, the logo looks like this. You're gonna download that totally free from Apple.com. Okay, it's a free program for Mac and PC. And once you open it up, you actually won't see this. You will see this. Okay, and if you hook up with your USB cable, your iPhone, iPod, iPod Touch to your computer, you're gonna get a message right away once you open up iTunes that you need to do an update. So you won't have to do anything else. Just click on update and that's it. If you guys don't see that, don't worry about it. Up here in the top left-hand corner, you're gonna see movies, TV shows, and just click whatever you have. You might have an iPhone right here. You might have a drawing of um, iPad or iPod Touch. Okay, so just click on there. And from there, um, at this time, you guys should make a backup, okay, before you do the update. So just make that backup, it takes a long time, and then go into update and update right now, okay? Um, so that's how you do it on iTunes, alright? And I highly suggest doing it from iTunes if um, it's not appearing. It, it is the safest way anyways, and if you guys want to future jailbreak your iPhone, iPod, iPod Touch, always update through iTunes. Don't do it directly from your phone because things will happen that you don't want to happen when you do it directly from your phone if you want to jailbreak in the future. Anyways, let's just go back to your phone. Um, okay, so if you're doing it directly from your phone, iPod, iPod Touch, just click on install now and it's gonna start downloading. Okay, once you agree to it, agree. And there we go. So. Um, this update should not take more than 15 to 30 minutes depending on your internet speed. It, with any update it, it's gonna download first the software and then it's gonna install it. Okay. Um, again, it will depend on your internet speed how fast this goes. So be patient, don't do it in a hurry, don't do it on the bus and make sure to have your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch connected to electricity and to have at least 50% of your battery. If you don't have that, then you can't do it. You also need some space. So if you guys are, if your memory is packed, you won't be able to update. So have some memory left over, delete some videos. Videos usually take up the most space from your iPad or iPod Touch. So make sure to delete that and that's it. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.